So we've been working for a number of years on redesigning the London Ambulance. The London Ambulance, um, if you've had the misfortune to, to be in one, looks a bit like this. Um, it's quite intimidating. Um, you don't have 360 degree access to the patient. And it looks a bit like a, a 1950s kitchen. And it, everything but the kitchen sink is in there because it's not a smart vehicle. Uh, and they have to put everything in there for every eventuality. And we did a whole program um, uh, working with the London NHS and various partners at Imperial College. And we re redesigned the standard emergency ambulance. And you can see the craft processes within that. First of all, we built an ambulance tank out of cardboard. And actually, when you take everything out, it's quite large. These are two of our research associates. Um, we brought on board in a co-design process a, uh, uh, a paramedic. This is Dixie Dean, who joined us for six months to help develop. Uh, you know, This is a kind of frontline NHS worker uh, who goes out on ambulance calls. Dixie had plenty to say about our one-to-one -one models, which we, were complete, we, which we kept iterating and changing. We went on ride-outs and 12-hour shifts to see how the ambulance was working. And yes, we did some kind of engineering-type process uh, mapping, um, you know, failure modes effect analysis from the aerospace industry and so on very, very detailed analysis of, analysis of what bits of kit have to go where. But underlying all of this was a craft sensibility to do with materials and making. And we came up with a conceptual 3D model of what the new ambulance could look like. And then the exciting bit, we, we decided to get an old ambulance and um, make a demonstrator unit. We bid on eBay. This is an Australian ambulance. That I, I told the team they could only spend 450 pounds. They got it for 425. Um, and we fabricated it. Um, and this is what the new ambulance looks like. Um, it's, uh, it's got daylighting. It's got a digital diagnostic system. It's got 360 degree access to the patient. It's instead of a wooden construction, which is which has got lots of nests for bacteria and horrible bugs. It's like the inside of a yacht with, in, with injection molded plastic um, uh, surfaces that you can, you can um, clean down. It's got modular treatment packs, so you only take um, the kit that you need for the emergency that you're going to. And it anticipates a time when all electronic patient records are um, uh, online, and therefore you can have the patient records of the person you're going to talk to. That's not me, um, but the, this, this shows the in interior of the ambulance. Um, this is the digital system. And we did clinical trials. We did clinical trials, and uh, um, this is the London Ambulance Service is doing a simulated resuscitation in the ambulance carrying out various surgical procedures. And what was pleasing for us in a new ambulance, the new ambulance is green, um, less contamination and bacteria, which is a big problem in ambulances. You can ride in an ambulance and get a nasty bug. And the median time taken to complete tasks um, in terms of checking blood pressure and, and completing a wound dressing was actually in the new ambulance with the new layout, with the better light, with the more logical use of materials and space, um, people did things more quickly. 